Hey everyone! So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot from a, lap book, a laptop. Now, I'm going to be working on a Windows laptop right now, but it's very similar for Windows laptop, Chromebook, and MacBook. So whatever laptop you're using, try to follow along the best you can. If I do something different, see if there's something on your screen that's similar, that's kind of a little bit the same as what I'm doing to see if you can figure out how to do it on your device. Remember, if you're not able to figure it out, it's going to be okay. All right, so the first thing you need to do to take a screenshot is to press certain keys. On your Chromebook, you're going to press the Control and the Windows Change key at the same time. On the Windows laptop, you're going to place the Change Window key, the Shift key, and this key all at the same time. And then on a MacBook, these are the keys you're going to press at the same time. So now I'm going to do that on my Windows right now. Now, for my Windows, it comes up and makes it go a little gray with a plus sign to let me choose what part of the screen I want to take a screenshot out of. For your Macs and for your Chromebooks, I don't think this is what it does. I think it just takes the screenshot without doing this, but I could be wrong. Okay, so I'm going to select the part of the screen by taking my plus in the top corner and dragging it down while I'm clicking to take a picture. Now, this is where if you have a Mac or a Chromebook, I think we should be on the same page, is where you have a little picture of your screenshot, the picture you took of your screen right here in the corner. So let's click on that. Now, mine is saved to my clipboard right now. That means it's there for a little while, but it won't always be there. It's just saved for a short time, and I want to save it forever. So after you click on it, I want you to look at the options you have. See if you have any button that says save or download or anything like that. I'm looking at my options, and I see this is called a floppy disk. Anytime you see a floppy disk, that usually means save. So I'm going to click on my floppy disk, and I'm going to give it a name. Whenever you save a document, you want to give it a name so you can find it easily. Okay, so let's say instead of taking me to something that maybe looks like this, it takes you to your drive and the photo is there. If you put your photo in your drive and it would say drive, that means it is probably saved. It is probably saved because anything that's in the drive is saved. Okay, now If you've already looked all around and there is no kind of save, download, add to drive, or share button that you could see of how you could save it, but it looks like it's not saved yet to your folders, the next thing you can try to do is to right click on the picture. Now I had to go to a different picture instead of my screenshot to kind of show you what this looks like for me. So to right click, if you are using a mouse, you would click down on the right side of your mouse. If you are using a laptop mouse, you're going to do the same thing and you're going to click on it with the right, with the one you don't usually click on. And for me, there's an option to click save as. Okay, so that's the kind of options we're looking for. Save as, save to drive, download, something that says something like that. Now, if you still can't get it, what I want you to, which one thing you can do is to look in your files on your laptop to see if you can find it, to see if it's there. Another thing you can do is look on your drive to see if it's there. To do that, you would go to Google and then click on the waffle in the corner. So I'm going to click on the waffle right here and then click on drive. It will take me to my drive to see if it's there. And that's how you can tell if it was saved to your drive. And remember, this is not something you absolutely have to know how to do for my fifth grade class. So if you can't figure it out, it's okay. Take a deep breath. You're going to be okay. Thank you for trying. If you can't figure it out, share it with me on Schoology because I would love to see what you are able to do. Bye and have a great day.